Evil Eye is a fun little deck that released a few years ago in Infinity Chasers, a set that, on release, wasn't considered very good by any means, but has only gotten better over time. After all, we know just how resilient Earth machines are these days, and Witchcraft has just got some support that, finally, makes them actually quite good. So Evil Eye has some fairly strong competition. How does it fare against those two decks? Well, with Serziel being a great normal summon that can destroy a monster and has a ton of protection, they served more as a little self-contained engine for decks that didn't need their normal summon. An Alistair Light, if you will. You'd see it pop up in other fiend decks, notably like Unchained. That, or you could just play them with a ton of floodgates like in Master Duel. Both of these options left a ton of their cards unused though, but honestly? Their support is actually quite good, but just not quite fast enough to be worth it. Entered a new support from Photon Hypernova, and that's all about to change. We're only getting two new cards, but it's barely an exaggeration to say that they just do everything. Let's start with Basiltris, familiar of the Evil Eye. To start, it has very easy summoning conditions, special summoning itself from either the hand or the graveyard, as a quick effect, with the only condition being that you need an Evil Eye on the field, and that it banishes itself when it leaves it basically combining the summoning conditions of the two familiars that it's an amalgamation of. Then it takes a page out of both Weather Painter's and IP Mascarena's book, allowing you to quick effect links summon an Evil Eye monster, all while using your Evil Eye equip spells as materials. This means easy access to Xerziel, and you can even wait until after Xerziel has destroyed something to do that. But wait, I hear you say. What's the point of making a Link Evil Eye if you just linked away the equip spells? It won't have any effects. Well, worry not, for that's where our second card, Evil Eye Unleashed, comes into play. This spell has a cost of sending both an Evil Eye monster and a spell or trap to the graveyard from your deck. That's right, it combines both Foolish Burials, and we're not even into the main effect yet, meaning of course that you can't actually negate that part of it. Needless to say, even if the actual effect was just pay 500 life points, it would still be a good card, but it gets better. The actual effect is that you get to search an Evil Eye Equip spell, with the only downside being a 500 life point cost for using any non-Evil Eye cards. A cost which, honestly, can be an upside since that does power up your monsters. You'd think that would be enough, but it also has a graveyard effect. When Link summoning an Evil Eye monster, you can banish the spell, and equip an Evil Eye Equip spell that was in your graveyard to this card. So obviously you use Basilitris to Link summon on your opponent's turn, and then this card to immediately re-equip the Evil Eye. Problem solved. So with a few new consistency tools and some interesting things you can do with your level 3 summons, this deck's shaping up to be a consistent, solid strategy. So now let's take a look at how to build the deck. Here's the deck list. I've gone for a control focus build, so one with quite a few traps, but having going second staples to side in will, of course, be useful too. To start with the most important, you'll of course want to run 3 Serziel. After that, run 3 of our new monster, as well as 3 Basilius for its ease of special summoning, and also being another way to send Gorgonia to the graveyard. To round out your monsters, one Medusa is good for later turns, creating a loop by recycling defeat and then bouncing herself and an opponent's card, and then also run 2 Catoblepus since it can be a good target for resurrection to send if you already have Basilitris in the graveyard. Now on to spells, and you'll want 3 Domain as well as a Terraforming, since by itself it can get your combo started. Unleashed is of course also great, so you'll run that at 3. Then I do like both Evil Eyes at 3, since they both offer so much to the deck, and Gorgonia is a lot easier to send these days, so you don't want to run out of them. Then these next 3 are pretty optional, and you can tweak their ratios to your liking. Since they're all pretty searchable, I like 1 Confrontation for back row removal, one Repose for dealing with monsters with too much protection, and finally one Manifestation to allow for Link plays without Unleashed. The removal is especially useful to make sure you've at least got some kind of out against back row or towers monsters, and since they're recyclable, you'll be able to deal with a variety of decks once you've slowed them down a bit. If you don't like these though, just replace them with any staples you want. Speaking of, 3 Prosperity really helps this deck sacrificing a pretty optional extra deck for wild amounts of consistency. With this you'll basically always get to Serziel with an Evil Eye equipped. Finally, here are our traps. For the Anarchotype ones, I like Defeat at 2, being a double compulse in most situations, 
and then Retribution, which you'll usually search, being a counter to a lot of going second card. To round the deck out, run three of both Solemns, with Strike being one of this deck's few negates, and Judgment also being a way to stop your back row from being destroyed. Now for the extra deck, you do use it a lot more ever since the new support dropped, but still not so much that we can't use Prosperity. So we've got a mix of repeat copies to banish, as well as small combo packages. I run 3 Zerziel and 2 Gorgon, Zerziel being your usual end board, with Gorgon being an option for a negate instead. We also have one Muckraker as an alternative for Fiend Link Climbing in the stack. Then, since it's pretty easy to end up with level 3 monsters that won't really be doing too much on the field, we can turn them into Xyz monsters. Cicada King is actually just a generic monster negate, since it can target itself to go into defense position. Then we have a stack of Xyz that climb into each other. Darius has a bit of a burn and battle protection, but mostly goes into Deus Machinex, who can attach an opponent's monster to itself as a material as a quick effect. Then you can continue to link climb by going into Pain Gainer and finally Seven Sins, who not only has huge stats and protection, but can wipe your opponent's field of special summon monsters. Then we also have the better known Xyz ladder of Fortune Tune, Down Nerd, and then Zeus, which is only really good for emergencies, but still good to have just in case. And that's the deck, now let's have a look at how it works. It's combo time, and for this first one, let's have a look at what we can do with just Unleashed and no other cards. Activate it, sending both Gorgonio and Basilatris, and adding Selene. Then use Gorgonio to discard Selene, adding Domain. When activating Domain, add Serziel, who, on normal summon, searches another Selene. If we had any other evil eye spells to use, we could have banished Selene from the graveyard to add it back, and then search something else instead. But with only one card in our hand, we need to do it this way. After using Selene, we activate Basilatris to summon itself, and then end our turn. During your opponent's turn, you can now use Basilatris's effect to link itself, Selene, and Zerziel into Zerziel. This will trigger Unleashed in the graveyard to reattach Selene to Zerziel, giving it both protection and a destruction effect. Now let's try some test hands. Here, like usual, the first thing you should do is activate Domain if you have it, this time searching a Basilatris. Then summon Serziel to get Resurrection, which you'll use to dump both Cateblepus and Gorgonio, while searching a second Gorgonio. Now both Cateblepus and Basilius can summon themselves, making a Darius to go into Machinex. The Gorgonio in the graveyard can now discard Basiltris, since it works just as well from the hand or the graveyard, and by doing that, you get a Retribution. Now just set your traps, and play Selene followed by Gorgonio, bringing Zerziel's attack up to 2600, which is important if you want to give Zerziel all of its effects. We end the turn by summoning Basiltris, waiting to use its quick effect link. You'll now have a bunch of interaction on your opponent's turn. You can negate a spell with Retribution, steal a monster with Machinex, destroy a special summon monster with Zerziel, and after that, quick link into Zerziel for a destruction of any type of card, with a double bounce from defeat as a backup. Then once it's your turn again, you'll have enough damage to clean the ATK your opponent for a nice easy win. This last hand doesn't have Domain or Zerziel, but terraforming serves as both, searching one and then the other. Before committing to Zerziel though, we use Unleash to send Cateblepus and Gorgonio, this time also searching a second Gorgonio. We then use Serziel to search Defeat, and then, by banishing Gorgonio and discarding Basilatris, we also reach Retribution. After equipping everything in the right order, we can summon back our two level 3s and turn them into a Cicada King. You might think it's weird to pass on the Quick Effect Link summon, but that's why Cicada King is great. After negating a normal summon monster's effect, which Serziel can't destroy, it detaches Basiltris, who can not only immediately summon itself back, but then also use its effects to go into Serziel once Serziel has used its destruction effects, while of course re-equipping Selene. All of this still backed up by Retribution, Defeat, and a Solemn Judgement. And so that's the deck! I hope you'll try Evil Eye out again, since this new support does a ton for the archetype. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel!
thanks to my patrons and thanks for watching.